。喂 ，Hello。Hello， 我我 put 我 put you here and clear and talk. Oh 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 okay okay. Um, I'll start the conference. So, um, welcome to the first international workshop on information technology storage management specification. Um, to accelerate the emerging of the more functional storage system in the market, the industry requires a standard management. Interface that allow different class of the hardware and software products supplied by multiple vendors. Additional storage integrates can more flexibly selected between outer hardware vendors when constructing storage configuration. Therefore, we invited eight experts in the storage film to discuss the latest work related to the storage stand. Hope everyone can benefit from this. So let's start with the first speaker, Sun Wei from China Electronic Standards Institute. The topic of the speech is international and domestic standards update on storage technologies. Well, okay. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Hi guys. Yes. Yes. Yes.、Uh, I'm gonna share my screen. Wait a second. Okay. You see? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Let's begin. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. It is my honor to be here to have this、uh, presentation today. My topic will focus on the international and the domestic standards up updates on storage and storage technology. As we know, in our digital world, um, data is paramount resource. No matter in manufacturing field or people's daily life. Data demand accelerates the implementation and the installation of data infrastructure like data center or server farm. So, to meet the requirement of data storage, suppliers in this field speed the storage technology upgrade and the relevant standards specs developing.、Um, so, my slides can be divided into two sectors. Within the first part, I will look back on recent published specs among international and domestic standardization organizations and technical associations, and briefly review the contents on, of the, those、um, documents. SOIC、uh, is the one of the most important standardization organizations all over the world. The newest released standards are information technology storage management series, which contain eight parts.、Uh, as you can see in this chart,、uh, part one overview, part two common architecture, common profile, block devices, file systems, fabric part fabric, and、uh, host elements, and、uh, part eight media libraries. So the newest version of this. Eight parts was published in 2021. Meanwhile, the last version, ISO IEC 24775,、uh, 2014, with,、um, was withdrawn. So the new one integrates the amendation and the revised standards.、Uh, in the following slides, I will show you some specs made.、Uh, Wait a second. I will show you some specs made in Senior, short for Storage Network Industry Association. It's a not-for-profit,、uh, profit global organization that leads to the storage industry in developing and promoting vendor-neutral architecture standards and、uh, educational services that have facilitated the efficient. Management movement and the security of information. The ISO IEC standards are, as I mentioned before, in last、uh, 
slide also was based on its newly released spec SMIS revision 5. SMIS defines a method for the interoperable management of storage array network and it describes the information available to the client from a SMIS compliant CIM server and the object oriented messaging based interface designed to support the specific requirement uh, of um, like managing device in and through sense. Uh, this spec also contains eight parts from part one overview to part eight media libraries. In other words, ISO IEC 24775 uh, 2021 is identical to SMIS Revision 5. Uh, this spec was published on March 23, 2020. Uh, another spec, solid state storage, triple S performance test spec. This version is um, 202. Senior has developed a method which enable manufacturers to set and uh, customers to compare the performance spec of triple S devices which are involving with the state of the technology. This spec defines a set of device level tests and uh, methodologies, which enable comparative testing of triple S devices for like um, enterprise and client systems. Uh, this spec was published on October, October 1, 2020, with the release of this version of spec, um, not only the enterprise, and uh, but also the client test have been combined to a single spec. Uh, the next one is uh, native NVMe over fabric drive spec version 1.1. This spec describes the feature and the functions of storage device class known as native NVMe over fabric drives. It includes a taxon uh, taxonomy covering the scope of uh, involved device capabilities. And uh, this spec was published on June uh, 17, 2021. Linear tape few, uh, file system, LTFS. This is a format spec. Uh, and the newest version is uh, 2.5.1. LTFS format spec defines a uh, second, defines a file system format, a separate separate from any like implementation on data storage media. By using this format, data is stored in LTFS volume. And this volume can host data files and uh, corresponding, <coughs> sorry, corresponding metadata to completely describe the di um, directory and the file structure stored on the volume. And also the LTFS format has some advantages or some features. Uh, for example, uh, LTFS volume can be mounted and uh, volume content accessible with full use of data without need to uh, access other information sources. And also data can be passed between sites and applications by using only the information written to the LTFS volume. And uh, so, to sum up, LTFS format is uh, particularly suited to some, some uh, scenarios such as uh, data export and import, data interchange and uh, exchange, and the direct file and a partial file recall from sequential access media. Uh, also, as you can see from this chart here, it is a uh, international standard mm, so I say 20919. This standard was published in July 2021. QLU storage API spec mm, version 1.1. Uh, this document described the QLU storage application program interface. Uh, this spec for SSD 
um, devices with object drive based key value storage. And uh, the spec provides a set of APIs that are portable across multiple vendor SSD products, uh, which was published on September 28, 2020. Senior Emerald Power Efficiency Measurement Spec. Uh, Senior Emerald Power Measurement Spec identifies metrics by uh, which energy consumption and the efficiency of storage and networking products can be measured for the purposes of new product development and the user customer evaluation and the regulatory standards development. And uh, its latest version was published on July 3, uh, 2020. Uh, here, I'm gonna briefly introduce another association, SPAC. Mm, SPAC, uh, which is short for uh, the Standard Performance Evaluation Corporation. This is a non-profit corporation formed to establish, maintain, and uh, endorse standardized benchmarks and the tools to evaluate performance and energy efficiency for the like newest generation of computing system. So the SPAC um, develops benchmarks suited to, uh, and also review and publish submitted results from its member organizations and other benchmark licenses. And here, this is the newest uh, spec storage solution. As you can see from this chart, um, the spec storage solution 2020 benchmark is the, the newest one and uh, providing a standard standardized uh, method for comparing performance across different vendor platforms. And the suit also, you can provide like uh, tools, kit. Uh, so the suit is a uh, successor to the SPAC SFS 2014 benchmark. And uh, this is another uh, organization, JDAC. Uh, JDAC is a uh, global leader in developing open standards for the microelectronics industry with more than 3,000 3, volunteers representing over like uh, 300 member companies. JDAC brings manufacturers and the suppliers together to participate in more than uh, 50 committees and subcommittees with a mission to create a standard to meet the diverse uh, technical and uh, developmental need of the industry. And here are some JDAC standards I list here. The first one is serial interface for data converters. This, uh, this standard describes a serialized interface between data converters and the logic devices. It contains normative information to enable designers to like implement uh, devices that communicate with other device covered by this document. Uh, informative sections are included to clarify and to exemplify the standard. The standard was released in January, 2022. The next one, solid state reliability assessment qualification methodologies. Uh, the proposed of this publication is to provide an overview of some of the most commonly used systems and uh, test methods historically performed by man like manufacturers to uh, access and qualify the reliability of SSD devices. Uh, this document is also intended to pro provide a educational background and overview of some of the technical and uh, economic factors associated with accessing and uh, qualifying microcircle reliability. The last one, universal flash storage, UFS version 2.2. The purpose of this uh, standard is a uh, definition of UFS universal or flash story, uh, storage electrical interface and uh, memory device. This standard defines a unique UFS feature set 
and it includes the feature set of EMMC standard as a subset. Uh, and also this standard was released in August, uh, 2020. Okay. Now I'm gonna briefly introduce the domestic standards. I mean, in mainland of China uh, on storage technology. Uh, actually, we had already reported in the previous meeting. Um, here, as you can see, we have a, a five parts uh, national standards already published from, um, from part, part two, um, architecture to part eight media libraries already published in October, 2021. And right now, currently, um, GBT, Three six four five zero dot three and dot four, which means part three common profile and uh, part four block devices are under developing, and also uh, here are some relevant uh, standards I'm gonna briefly introduce. Uh, GBT three. 7732, information technology, cloud computing, functions of a service interface for cloud storage system. This standard defines the storage services, including like block storage, file system storage, object storage, and functions of maintenance service interface in cloud storage system. And the GBT 37737, uh, 2019, information technology, cloud computing, general technique requirements for uh, distributed, distributed block storage system. This standard defines the resource management function, system manage, management function, and uh, extens, extensibility, compatibility, and the data security requirement for distributed block storage system. And then GBT 37978, uh, information technology, application of storage management, storage management uh, interface of disk array. This standard specifies a set of disk array storage management interfaces, data models, and the behaviors that comply with the uh, representation of state transition rules. And also this standard can be applied to like block storage file system, object storage and the storage network infrastructure. And the last one, information security technology. Uh, security technology uh, technique requirement for network storage. This standard specify the security technical requirements for network storage, including security function and uh, security guarantee requirements. The standard is uh, applicable to, uh, to the design and Im implementation of network storage and the security test and the management of network storage can be used for reference. Uh, okay, in the second part of this slide, I will talk about the international and the domestic standardization organization, which working scope involved in data uh, storage technology. And you can say, uh, I say IEC JTC1, SC25. The organization name is Interconnection of Information Technology Equipment. And the uh, secretariat is located in Germany. Uh, also in China, the counterpart is China Electronic Standardization Institute, which short for SIC. Uh, An organization is SAC TC28, SAC25. The scope mainly focus on the standardization of microprocessor system, interfaces, protocols, architectures, and uh, associated interconnecting media for information technology equipment and the networks to support embedded and distributed computing environments, storage systems, and other input output components. And also uh, we focus on the standards for 
home and building electronic systems in residential and commercial environments to like a support interworking device and applications such as energy management, environmental control, lighting, and uh, security. And also we, uh, we are focusing on cabling system standards for information and communication technology in all types of residential, commercial, and industrial environments for the design, planning, and the installation, has the procedures, automated infra, uh, infrastructure management system, and the remote powering. Uh, here, this slide shows us the structure of SC25. Mm. Uh, SC25 including four working groups and the two joint working group, and the 28 participants, 17 observers in total. The governor of WG1 is Mr. Hannes Wax, uh, who hosts two working group meetings every year. At present, there are uh, 15 projects under research. The United States, China, Japan, South Korea, and other countries have uh, actively contributed their own solutions. Among them, China mm, has led 14 release standards. Uh, there are two are under research and another three proposal are waiting for project approval and voting. These members have different uh, emphasis. For example, the uh, United States focus on gateway and uh, interoperability. China focus on resource sharing and uh, South Korea pays more attention to application models. The convener of WG3 is a German expert who hosts two working groups meeting uh, every year. Currently, there are five projects under research. WG3 core projects are led by the United States, Sweden, Germany, and other European countries. Chinese experts closely follow and uh, participate in various projects. The last one, uh, the, the next one, commander of WG4 is uh, uh, it's uh, Mr. Frederick, yeah, Mr. Frederick Knight. Uh, he's an American expert. The working group is mainly led by the United States and uh, its activities are mainly carried out in United States, including association and uh, organizations such as Senia, Storage Networking Industry Association, and uh, um, INSIGHTS, which is short for International Information Technology Standards Committee which have uh, formulated a large number of relevant standards and uh, transformed them into uh, international standards. And the last one, the commander of WG4 is Mr. Per Kaiser, yeah, it seems, a Sweden expert. Uh, there are two projects under research, both led by South Korea and uh, right now Chinese experts are also actively participating. Uh, this slide shows us some numbers of SC25 research program progress. As we can see, uh, there are 200 published standards in total and uh, 21 projects under developing. Uh, and uh, in the following slides, I will give you some standard map in the specific field, for example, the first one in home electronic system. Uh, this, uh, in this graph, the blue square means we have already adopted and translated into domestic national standard. And the red one means we are working on it. Oh, sorry. And this slide show us the uh, customer premises cabling. This slide shows us the SASI, uh, the inner connection of computer system and the attached equipment. <clears throat> we can see in the graph down below, there are six storage management standards adopted into our domestic standards. And other two projects are under 
developing uh, here, as you can see here, these six standards. Okay, in the following slides, I will briefly introduce the domestic standardization organization, SSA TC28, SSA25. Uh, this SSA uh, was, found, was founded in 2016 and the secretariat uh, also located in Beijing, China Electronics Standardization Institute. And the counterpart is uh, ISO IEC GTC1, SA25. The scope of, the, of this committee is uh, interconnection of information technology equipment standardization. Uh, as you can see from this uh, slide, it is the structure of SA25. Uh, at present, we already have uh, 33 committee men and uh, 46 members in total. And also we have uh, five working groups, uh, the secretariat located in uh, Saisi and the committee chair is Mr. Yang Jian Jun. Uh, work, working group one, information device, intelligent grouping and the resource sharing. Its leader is IGRS and uh, WG2, customer premises cabling. The leader is Shandong Computer Science Shen Center. WG4, uh, three, sorry, WG3, uh, data storage technology. The leader is Huazhong University of Science and Technology and the WG4, Unified Service Platform for uh, Home Electronic System. The leader is Alibaba and the WG5 in Intelligent Homes. The leader is IC. Uh, our company. Uh, this is a overview uh, overview of the SE twenty five members. Uh, as you can see in this slide, we have on IGRS, we have on Alibaba, we have on uh, Huazhong University of Science and Technology, and also we have a Northern Western Poly Polytechnical University. And the higher and the Panasonic also is our members. Mm. Uh, also, I'm gonna show you the research progress in our uh, in our working groups. There are sixty six valid standards, and the nine projects under research in SA twenty five. Specifically, we have twenty three published. Uh, standards and uh, two technical proposals in small computer system interface area. Uh, this subdomain standard mainly specified various bus interfaces, microprocessor interface and uh, storage management interfaces. The relevant standards are mainly dominated by the United States, uh, including the Senior Storage Network Industry Association and uh, International Information Technology Standards Committee and other global organizations. At the present, the storage management and other mm, related standards are mainly adopted in China from overseas. And also, this is a standard list in uh, SE25. Okay, in the uh, in the last slide, uh, the standard conversion. Standard conversion reflects the standard F effect uh, at a certain rate and uh, is closely related to the domestic application as well as uh, international standards adoption. For instance, the overall conversion rate is uh, more than 20% in uh, SASI a field which means uh, relevant research institute, manufacturers, customer, and uh, suppliers attach great importance to uh, storage technical standards. Okay, uh, that's all. Thank you for listening. Uh, any question? Okay, we thanks for Sunway's wonderful speech. Uh, any question about this? 
So let me ask you a question. What's the difference between the international and the domestic sentence? Oh, you mean the difference between international and the domestic standards, right? Yeah, yes. Uh, uh, actually, uh, I think uh, the biggest difference between the international and the domestic standards is, uh, is user. I mean, um, for instance, um, the domestic standard okay. focus on the, for example, in China, we are we will focus on the Chinese user, and uh, the influence is limited. We can't, you know, you know, to to let uh, overseas suppliers, manufacturers to apply comply with our standard. But uh, on the other hand, the international standard can be can be used. Um, Globally, I mean, no matter you are in, uh, you are in, in like Europe, like you, you are, you are in America or Africa or China or Asia, you can just uh, comply with the international uh, standards. This is the biggest difference. And the second one, I, I believe, is the duration. <clears throat> I mean, the research duration. For example, the domestic standard. I mean, in our, in our country in China. Um, <clears throat> from <clears throat> sorry, from the proposal to uh, uh, to the final discussion draft to um, to publish uh, to our publication, uh, we can spend like uh, uh, three yeah, at most uh, three years we can have a uh, final um, research um, how to say uh, standards. On the other hand, uh, uh, international uh, standard, we have to spend like uh, at least uh, five years from the proposal to uh, working uh, working draft to committee draft to discussion draft to final publication. It's a long, uh, we will have to spend a long time to, um, to focus on, the, uh, on this, on, on the research. Yeah, I think this is the difference. Okay, okay, we sense your answer. Um, mm -hmm. The okay, next, you. okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop the sharing. Yes, yes. Um, the next speaker is Deng Zhe from China University of Geosciences, Wuhan. His topic is scalability support for SMIS in wine. Okay, okay, I can see it. Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, it's you great. can uh, you can open your camera. Uh, my camera has some trouble. Oh, okay, okay. Hello everyone. It's a great honor to report at ICPE because Dr. Deng is busy today, so I will report for him. The topic of my talk today is scalability support for SMIS in wide area network. SMIS is a standard management interface initiated by SNIA, which is jointly developed by many storage vendors. The goal is to provide standardized communication between storage devices and management software in the storage network. It implements its, manage, it implements its management strategy in six ways. Unified information representation, intelligent transmission, collaborative com management, compatibility management, resource discovery and policy management. The SMIS architecture mainly consists of three parts, service agent, directory agent, and user agent. Server agent can be divided into dedicated service agent, general service agent, and embedded service agent. Service agent use a common information model to object model storage resource and store, them, store the object information. 
service agent registers information about storage resource with directory agent through the service location protocol. The directory agent is responsible for collecting service agent proxy storage resource information with the management area and providing storage resource discovery service to the user agent. User agent queries the directory agent on behalf of on behalf of the user for the managed storage resource. When the required storage resource is found, the user agent manages the storage resource by communicating with the service agent, representing the storage resource through the common information model operations over HTTP. However, SMS is a typical centralized management architecture. It is designed for storage area network and is not suitable for wide area network. The connection mode of directory agent is not scalable. When the storage system is very large, a large number of directory agents lead to high network overhead and inefficient resource management performance. To address this, uh, to address the scalability issue of management, we propose a storage resource management architecture based on structured peer-to-peer -peer network to extend SMIS. Called a structured peer-to-peer -peer network with high query efficiency and scalability, and is widely used and recognized. Code is characterized by the advance of a single bottleneck load balancing, scalability, and high availability. For a code network with N nodes, a query efficiency is all like N hopes. Therefore, we extend SIMS based on code. We use code to interconnect directory agent distributed in wide area network to a extensible managing, management range. This picture reflects the interconnection between directory agent and the internal structure of the directory agent. In the diagram, directory agent mainly consists of three components, a resource collector, a directory agent manager, and a connector. Collector extracts descriptive information about storage resource from a service agent and store them in a database. So the code protocol Connectors connect all directory agent from a code ring and maintain this ring, such as check the state of nodes, drawing and editing. Directory agent manager maintain local storage resource information based on a native XML database and periodically publish local storage resource information about the management network to support resource discovery. The algorithm that discovery uh, directory agent manager published to storage resource information is as follows. Firstly, DA node N maintains a resource set. For each resource, node N extracts its characteristic attributes and hash them to obtain the key value. Then the DA manager obtains the location information of the corresponding successor node of cake RI in the code ring through the interface provided by the underlying connector. Finally, DA manager publishes the resource information to, of RI to the successor node of KRI. Location RI represents the URL of the resource RI. In the above published algorithm, if the network size is N and node has M resource to publish, the node needs O M log N network overhead to publish the resource. On the other hand, DA manager discovers the required storage resource in response to user agent queries. Its resource, this, its resource discovery algorithm is followed as. Firstly, when any directory agent node N in the architecture receives a query queue from user agent, Node N has the query key of Q to obtain key Q. Secondly, the directory agent manager 
obtain the location location information of the corresponding successor node of KQ in the code ring through the interface provided by the underlying connector. Then DA manager forward Q to the successor node of KQ. Finally, Q match the resource started in the successor node of KQ and returns the query result to user agent. We test the performance of this extension through experiment. We build simulation models based on WBEM service, JSLP, peer sim at exit. In order to represent the storage resource information, we defined a template which contains a WBEM service type and 20 resource characteristic attributes. There are 20,000 such information documents. We use three metrics to evaluate their perm its performance. The network overhead caused by resource indexing, the resource query overhead, and the query load of nodes. We design a hierarchy SMIS management architecture and a comparison object. Specifically, each DA manager area is treated as a management domain and each directory agent is interconnected through a hierarchy with the architecture showing in the diagram. In order to reduce the huge space overhead of the upper DA in the process of information aggregation to the upper layer, we add Bloom filter to the hierarchy architecture. We first compare the network overhead associated with the resource indexing. In this experiment, 20,000 storage resource information files were randomly assigned to 2,000 directory agents whose architecture index storage resource with a single attribute of the resource as the keyword. Their index network overhead comparison are shown in the figure. We can see that when the number of directory agents is less than 700, the network overhead of hierarchy is less lower than that of the peer network. When the number of nodes is greater than 700, the network overhead of hierarchy increases significantly faster than that of peer network. Next, we compare the resource query cost of the two architectures. In this experiment, we compared the average message volume caused by query set Q with a different number of directory agent. Q contains some single attribute query. It can be seen that with the increase of directory agent, the average message volume on Q under both architecture tend to a logarithmic growth trend. In addition, we can see that the average message based on code architecture is slightly better than that based on the hierarchy. Finally, we compare the two ways of node load. We compare the maximum, second, and third largest number of queries received by node in two architecture for a different number of queries from 500 to 5000. With a different number of queries, the maximum node query load based on code is basically 16% to 17% based on hierarchy, while the second and third largest node query load based on code is about 15% to 16% based on hierarchy. Uh, so let's make a summary. With the continuous growth of the number of storage resources in, in the system, the management architecture based on structured peer-to-peer -peer network is more suitable for a wide area network than the traditional management architecture based on hierarchy. That is the end of my part. Thank you. Okay, we thank for the Have any question about this? Okay, let me answer your question. What type of, of queries were used in the experiment? 
the query in experiment is an accurate query rather than a father query. All queries are single attribute queries. The generation process of each single attribute query is that randomly set, randomly select a resource information from the storage resource data set, and then randomly select a resource attribute from the resource information as a query keyword from a query. Okay, okay. Thank you for your answer. Um... The next speaker is from E from China Mobile. His topic is innovative, practical for diverse story type for China Mobile. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. Okay. Oh, hello, everyone. Uh, Hello everyone, I'm Feng Yi from China Mobile Information Technology Center. I'm very appreciate to participate in this international workshop on information technology storage management specification. The topic I will share today is innovative practice for diversity storage types of China Mobile. In the context of the current great development of digital economy, the, the arrival of 5G enable us to experience uh, the characteristic of high bandwidth, low delay, and large connection of 5G network and puts forward higher requirement for storage technology. Here are two scenarios our share to you. The first, the first thing is 5G video live broadcast. 4K live broadcast was adopted to the uh, first time for the World Cup in Brazil in 2014. Well, 5G and 8K live broadcast was adopted for this year's Beijing Winter Olympic Games. 8K Ultra HD not only achieved 40 times of HD in terms of data volume, but also put forward high requirements for storage rate and write performance delay and so on. The second thing is the automatic driving application, which can generate tens of TB of data per vehicle every day. With each level of automatic driving, the amount of the data generated will also increase the dozens of times, resulting in high storage costs. The, the emergency of uh, various GPUs, MPUs, providing abundant computing power for automatic driving, which also require the storage to have low delay and high performance ability so as to give full play to the advantages of driver computing power. In this era, new connection and new application bring data diversity and uh, expressive growth. It is estimated that the data volume will increase to 175 CB by 2025, and data is becoming more and more important, which is changing our projection and the life. The innovation of 5G and AICDE of new technologies brings powerful support for massive data storage. China Mobile has taken multiple measures to promote diversified storage innovation for diversified application and massive data. Our annual storage demand has reached EB level. We meet the needs of different business scenarios by deploying diversity storage, such as distributed files, distributed block, and all flash array, and uh, serve millions of customers. At present, the storage product in the industry and mainly divided into external storage and software well-defined storage based on the different storage architecture. The external storage adopted the control frame and hard disk frame architecture, which has 
involved for many years. And the stability and value added function of the system are powerful. The software well defined storage is based on general server, which has better scalability. External storage mainly included traditional NAS and traditional disk arrays, as well as array in recent years. Software well defined storage includes distributed blocks, distributed files, and distributed object storage. In the past, people used to traditional storage more, traditional NAS provide file interface and the traditional disk array provide block interface. With the development of storage technology and the emergency of new service, the traditional disk array has evolved into all flash array and distributed block storage, both of which, both of which provide a block interface. International NAS involve two distributed file and distributed object storage, which are mostly used to store unstructured data. Different storage architecture make storage, make storage have different position and suitable to uh, for different use scanners. Uh, the software well defined storage has good scalability and easy management and is suitable for business scenario, uh, scenarios with large cap capacity requirement and a general function performance requirement. In recent years, China Mobile has centralized the purchase. A large number of software well defined storage products, including uh, nearly two EB distributed file storage and 500 PB distributed block storage. Distributed file File storage is used in business required file interface access and moderate number of files such as mail, log detail, uh, etc. Uh, distributed block storage is used in virtual machine, conven conventional database, and other scenarios. At the same time, we also introduce distributed object storage into some system, which is used in business scenarios with large storage scale, such as electronic invoice recording, uh, etc. Et in addition to the above application scenarios, uh, China Mobile has also some core database application scenarios. They have high requirement for storage value added function performance delay and other aspects. Software well-defined storage is not satisfied in this application uh, scenarios well. Uh, this part of application scenarios also need to be met by all flash rail or traditional disk rail, such as BOSS and CRM core database. Compared with traditional disk array, the all flash array has the advantage of advantages of high performance, low power consumption, and a small land occupation. Mm. At the same time, it can adopt the rate deletion compression technology to reduce the use cost. The traditional disk array is gradually being uh, replaced by distributed block storage and off-flash array. The store the storage requirement of unstructured data are often, um, by, um, are often made by distributed file storage and object storage. The main difference between them is that they support a different storage interface protocol. Distributed file storage support the most commonly used NFS, CIFS, FTP, POSIX protocol. There is a large amount for China Mobile, which is mainly met through centralized purchase in the recent years. Distributed object storage support uh, S3 interface. Since China Mobile has used, used NAS more for unstructured data in the past, the traditional base business has little demand for distributed object storage. Distributed object storage requirements are mainly concentrated on a new business scenarios. At the same time, it also used to centrally uh, store backup data. Uh, the block interface requirements are often uh, met by distributed block storage, off-flash, and the traditional disk array equipment. 
In terms of function, the all flash array and the traditional disk array are used for long term, and the system stability and uh, value added functions such as uh, consistence group snatch up, remote replication, and door active disaster recovery uh, are more powerful. The distributed block storage is in uh, rapid development, and the value added function is not very perfect. In terms of scalability, uh, scalability and distributed block storage has good scalability, higher capacity limit, and uh, uh, linear growth of performance and uh, scalability uh, of the flash array and the traditional disk array is general. In terms of management convenience, EarthNet switch is often used for uh, distributed block storage, and FC switch is often used for all flash array and the traditional disk array. Distributed block storage network has better openness, development, and maintenance convenience. Uh, all flash array and the traditional disk array. Mm, storage need to be uh, networked separately, and uh, the maintenance is complex. In terms of cost, under the same effective capacity, the price of distributed block storage is about 23% of the price of all flash array and 46% of the price of traditional discovery. In order to achieve the uh, effect of cost reduction and efficiency increase. It is necessary to survive the requirement of actual business scenario and select different storage type according to business scenario. We have survived the requirement of core business system and found that more than 83% uh, of the business need remote replication and uh, disaster recovery function. This requirement uh, this requirement cannot be met by distributed block storage for the time billing, and all flash arrive is required. For virtual machine, conventional database and other scale in the uh, in the resource poor, and the demand for storage capacity is large, and the demand for value added function is not high. We pay more attention to system uh, scalability, management convenience and cost and adopt a distributed block storage. For each type of storage uh, device, we formulate high and low typical configuration to meet needs of typical business scenarios and formulate uh, a property uh, technical index requirement. While meeting the performance requirement of business system, we reduce purchase cost and improve resource utilization efficiency. Uh, taking distributed block storage as an example, the paper explained how to select a reasonable uh, technical indicator to achieve the effect of cost reduction and efficiency increase. In the distributed block storage system, the system re redundant strategy mm. Server and a switch hardware configuration and other technical requirement has a great impact on the system performance and the cost. For example, when the effective capacity demand of the business is fixed, using multiple replace, replace uh, redundancy requirement, uh, a large number of servers, high cost and good performance, for example, when the server hardware is determined, the choice of network hardware will also affect the performance and the cost of the system. When we choose a redundant strategy, a server hardware configuration and other technical indicator, we will use the research test result as the basis of selection. For example, when the effective capacity of in distributed block storage system is the same. Using EC redundancy strategy, the number of configuration nodes will be reduced by half, but compared with the three copies, the performance will be reduced, but the impact is within a controllable range. In terms of network, compared with TCP protocol, Rocky protocol can uh, has central performance advantages. 
and the system performance is improved by about 10%. On the other hand, uh, when the effective capacity of the system is the same, uh, EC uh, has the great impact on the system reconstruction time, but it can still meet the requirement that the re reconstruction time of one TB capacity is no larger than 50 minutes. At the same time, in some business scenarios, well distributed block storage can not replace uh, disk array. or flash array is used to gradually replace the traditional disk array. For example, in the building of BOSS and uh, CM core production DB of a uh, province uh, of China Mobile, uh, two sets of all flash arrive and uh, uh, adopted to realize the elimination and uh, integration of seven old traditional disk array. Compared with the old traditional disk array, uh, after replacing the all flash array, the performance is improved from uh, 240,000 to uh, 1.1 one million and the number of the uh, cabinets occupied is reduced from 26 to 6. Overall, the storage performance is improved by more than three times and the space maintenance cost and the power consumption and significantly reduced. From the um, perspective of all of the uh, overall cost of the ownership, the replacement has obvious advantages, uh, which can meet our goal of uh, reducing cost and increasing efficiency. China Mobile is also building cloud computing infrastructure at full speed. Uh, it is divided into public cloud, network cloud, and IT cloud according to different service object and scope. Uh, taking IT Cloud as an example, IT Cloud is an IT system carrying internal business support system, operations support system, and management support system. It is planned and arranged according to one cloud and multiple, multiple center, with the goal of form, forming multiple region center of it. Uh, cloud of IT Cloud resource pools. Uh, each each region, each regional center is built in the form of pod according to the minimal fault isolate strategy. According to the function, pod is divided into general pod, big data pod, uh, storage pod, and customized special pod. Uh, the general pod is equipped with all flash array and distributed block storage to meet the need of different type of applications. When using storage, the application system can access nearby to the to reduce the delay and improve performance. The storage port is configured with distributed file storage and a backup device to meet the file storage, the date backup um, protection requirement of other business in the general part. In storage planning, most business narrow use distributed block storage instead of disk array. The centralized purchase capacity of disk array is less than 5% of that of distributed block storage. Since the purchase cost of the distributed block storage is less than 50% of that uh, of disk array, the purchase cost is greatly reduced. Storage is an important part of cloud computing infrastructure. We will continue to follow and study new storage technologies, introduce them to the existing network timely and on demand, and enjoy technology benefit to achieve the effect of cost reduction and efficiency increase. In the unstructured data storage solution, a typical configuration will be introduced into the distributed file storage in the future. When storage is required to support multiple protocols, simplify the type of purchase equipment and simplify system management. In the R flash array, when NVMe SSD has better cost performance, we will consider the introduction of scale to meet the requirement of higher performance and a lower delay. At the same time, the switches uh, that promote the machine, matching of all flash array have the variety of options and can meet the business needs.
In the distributed block storage system, consider that the software well-defined storage is in line with the storage development trend and its cost advantages. The typical high performance configuration of the distributed block storage system is planned to narrow the performance gap with all flash array system while re reducing cost and increasing efficiency. Chainmobile will work with Panda to promote the formulation of storage-related standards and white paper and promote the popularization and standardization of new storage technologies. Thank you for your listening. And that's all for my sharing. Okay, thank you for the wonderful speech. Have any questions about this? Okay, let me answer your question. In the film of big date, what type of story does China Mobile use? Uh, actually, in the recent years, uh, China Mobile's big data applications networks uh, all use the local disk of the computing server for data storage. Uh, but recently, uh, with the emergence of distributed storage supporting HDFS protocol, we are studying and analyzing the, the solution of uh, separate separation of, of computing and storage, and research uh, the test the test to verify whether the solution can meet the requirement of big data application, uh, including the performance, uh, function, and security, and other requirements. Uh, okay. okay. Okay, thanks. The next speaker is Zhao Li Li from Huawei. Her topic is notification of divine information and state for internet-based NVMe. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, I can hear. Okay, uh, good morning and good afternoon. This is Lily, a standards engineer from Huawei Technologies. Today, I'm going to um, present a notification solution of device information and the status for Ethernet-based MME. Rapid development of storage and computing technology requires higher speed storage networks. In traditional data centers, the end-to-end -end latency from storage to storage devices is similar to that shown in the preceding figure. Uh, most of the time is spent on the processing of servers and storage devices. The latency of storage networks accounts for a small proportion. Therefore, all people focus on improving storage performance. With the development of flash storage, media, and computing device, Um, computing capabilities such as uh, GPS and uh, MPUs, um, the performance of the servers and the storage device is greatly improved. The new end-to-end -end latency becomes as follows. As storage and the computing uh, technology advance rapidly, networks have become a new performance bottleneck. However, we need to find the faster storage network solutions to further improve end-to-end -end storage access performance. The development of cloud and edge technologies call for our IP traditional storage networks. Uh, in traditional data centers, um, there are multi types of storage networks, uh, including five channel networks, focusing on core systems or business critical applications, IP networks uh, for private clouds and uh, virtualization platforms, and if any bound networks in HPC and some database appliance scenarios. However, the emerging public cloud and edge are basically IP-based. 
among the top of cloud wonders in this industry, uh, almost all story networks are all IP based. Uh, even in HPC service scenarios, um, AWS, Alibaba Cloud have all shifted to IP networks and uh, provided high speed RDMA network services using Rocky or similar technologies. In edge scenarios, HCI like solutions are usually used due to the high cost of fiber channel and even band networks. All the solutions have been switched to IP networks. Uh, considering that applications need to be seamlessly integrated, deployed, and uh, migrated between the cloud, cloud, and edge network normalizations uh, need to be considered in advance to evolve to an IP data center. IP based story networks are uh, inevitable. With the development of IP technologies, 100 and 200 G networks and RDMA technologies provide performance <coughs> comparable to PCIe and the Finiband, uh, making interfaces standardized and universal. In fact, the system and the protocol of the FCC storage network are independent. It is difficult and costly to flexible migrate core services. So storage products of various vendors are gradually evolving to OPP. Let's look at the SAN storage interface protocol stack. And the session layer, NME delivers a higher higher throughput and lower response latency than SCSI. SCSI is designed for HDD, um, but NVMe is designed for um, emerging storage media such as SD and SCM. Uh, NVMe breaks the concurrent throughput bottleneck. In addition to improving the concurrent throughput capability, OME also improves the session interaction uh, mechanism. In SCSI, two round trips and uh, four interactions are required to transmit data once. Um, but in OME, only one round trip and two interactions are required, uh, greatly improving efficiency. Um, and the next, uh, uh, top uh, the next layer, uh, fabrics um, provide better elastic stability than PCIe. Here, um, we focus on the expansion capability of storage. Um, fabrics of NOF includes athletes, fiber channel, and infinite band. The core positioning of Rocky is to run the RDMA protocol on the Ethernet. Comparing um, FC NME to Ethernet or even bond based uh, NOF uh, alternatively generally takes into consideration the advantages and disadvantages uh, of the network technologies. First, uh, let's look at a report from SNIR. Uh, we can see that the popular 100G based NME is even um, This shows that NME over Rocky V2 can better meet critical online service requirements um, uh, than FC MME in performance. And we just see that MME over Rocky gets higher performance than FC MME. 
uh, uh, sub-channel requires the special equipment and storage networking uh, and expertise to operate and can be more costly than Ethernet based uh, LME. Um, but uh, unlike FC, infinite band and Ethernet uh, leak uh, discovery service uh, that enabled uh, automatic additional of nodes uh, to the fabric. Um, FC network supports the device plug, plug and play to quick detect device access and removal. Um, but NME over Rocky solution, uh, however, uh, relies on uh, passing IP configuration and cannot detect the status of access devices. As a result, device connection setup is complex. Um, and then, unlike FC, the Ethernet switch does not have zone management and does not notify the change of device status. When the device is faulty or relaying on the NME using hard disk message, the host takes tens of seconds to compile or to complete service uh, switch over. Uh, NME has also released the improved solution of discovery capabilities for uh, Ethernet based NVMe. Mm, the solution like that. Uh, um, there is a CDC, a centralized discovery controller that supports regist, uh, regist and uh, zoning. Um, typically, uh, mm, CDC runs standalone or uh, embedded on switch in the fabric. Uh, CDC reports all known MME subsystem interfaces. Uh, like the figure shows, with the deploy of CDC, a server and the storage system register with CDC, and the CDC notifies servers and the storage systems of a zooming change. And then servers can connect to storage and start to transfer data. Um, but we can see uh, CDC. Uh, mm, uh, can realize the, um, the device discovery, but uh, there is only one CDC. So uh, there is a single point of failure. And for fault detection, um, there is two solutions. Um, uh, one is to uh, require keep level NOF connections, uh, which can detect failure in five seconds. Um, and two, uh, it requires a uh, keep alive TCP connection between uh, CDC, uh, that's the uh, uh, storage system, and the CDC, uh, which could take longer to detect failure. Um, our solution uh, is distributed automatic discovery. Um, um, our solution um, uh, detects faulty almost uh, uh, can uh, fail over in less than one second. Um, um, how it works, uh, let's see. Uh, first, uh, IP switches act as discovery controllers as the network central. Uh, and uh, IP switches uh, synchronize the host and the storage uh, registration information in the entire distributed network. Uh, second, host and the storage register to uh, switches. Uh, when hosts and the storage devices are connected to the IP switches, uh, LDP a message is used to exchange um, device info information. And the third notification message is uh, uh, sent from switch to host and storage. Based on the uh, synchronized registration, uh, IP switch notifies the host and storage information. 
and then host can establish connection with storage systems. Uh, when IP switch detects that the connected storage device or link is faulty, a uh, switch quickly sends a notification message to hosts, and then hosts can switch connections to a healthy uh, storage link. Um, and the last, uh, for security service isolation, uh, zone configurations are configured on IP switches. And this um, also be uh, signal, uh, um, um, synchronized to all other IP switches in the network. Mm. Uh, let's see the advantages of uh, this solution. Mm. When uh, network devices are reused and uh, distributed to implanted uh, unified information on the entire network, and uh, there is no single point of failure. Two, uh, automatically discovering host and storage information without manual configuration. Um, the third one, uh, faults can be quickly notified and uh, uh, it's improved the fault detection speed. Uh, and uh, uh, we can reduce the uh, switch, uh, the service switch uh, uh, within one second. Um, let's see our plan. Uh, we uh, also uh, have opened uh, this solution to our partners uh, and uh, uh, promote the use of um, distributed automatic discovery solution in business critical application scenarios. And uh, we also plan to propose uh, this solution extending to standards organizations. Um, um, that's all. Uh, thank you for listening. Okay, thanks for the wonderful speech. Have any questions about this? Okay, let me ask you a question. How much is the program and whether there are any successful case? Uh, um, as, a, uh, as I know, um, several storage vendors and the network vendors uh, have supported this solution, uh, such as uh, um, Huawei, uh, Microsoft, uh, Inspur. Um, and we have delivered uh, tens of products uh, in the financial and uh, career industries. And we have also expanded on other custom projects. Okay. Okay, thank you, answer. The next speaker is Zhang Xiao from Northwestern Polytechnic University. The topic of the speech is introduction and analysis of the story system standards. Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is Xiao Zhang, come from Northwestern Polytechnology University. It is my honor to introduce, uh, give a talk about uh, uh, standards, uh, <coughs> international standards and uh, dominant standards. Uh, I will talk, uh, talk about uh, 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 give brief uh, introduction of uh, internet uh, standard organizations and uh, uh, standard of uh, uh, <coughs> storage systems from uh, four parts, four, four views. Uh, why we need standards? There are two cases. First, the Tower of uh, Bali, 
Uh, this is a story in Bible. All the people in the world gather together to build a very high tower. Um, but God divide, divide them and uh, confuse their languages so that uh, they cannot uh, uh, they cannot understand each other, so they cannot finish the job. In the case two, if you want to buy a nut for the uh, belt in your on your bicycle, you just uh, need to tell the seller the model of the belt. You needn't take take the belt to the shop uh, to the shop, and uh, uh, the size of nuts with the same model are exactly the same, no matter which vendor provides that. So. Standard the uh, standardization uh, standardization can improve efficiency, such as efficient management and efficient products. Especially, uh, they they can make people work together and uh, work uh, more efficient. For the uh, international standards for industry, they they can uh, uh, pro produce more. Uh, complete competitive uh, product by offering products through the world, and uh, it can help the industry enter new markets very easy. And uh, for the regulators, they can make it easy for countries to uh, custom or set the standard for different kinds of products. For the customers, they can um, buy and uh, select uh, uh, correct product according to the uh, standard. Uh, who makes who makes standards? Uh, the, there are three top of international standard organization named uh, ISO, IEC, and ITU. Uh, IEC is a very old uh, organization, but uh, it uh, uh, was merged into ISO in recent years, and uh, many in many standards, we can see that uh, the uh, standard is ISO slash IEC. And uh, for the different country or different country, or, uh, uh, there are also uh, standard organizations. For China, we have uh, SA. For America, uh, they have ANSI. And uh, another uh, group, uh, level of standards uh, uh, industry standards the the group was uh, the group is made of many different uh, vendors the most uh, the most famous uh, the most famous uh, uh, group is SNIA in storage system and uh, because uh, uh, storage system is also a part of part of uh, 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 operating system. There are some uh, standards from Linux uh, foundations, and uh, for uh, for some uh, vendor, they also provide uh, uh, standard, and other other uh, vendors can uh, pro produce or uh, give uh, or produce or develop software according to the standards. For the international standards organization, uh, they, uh, they are, the standards are formed by technical communities or work groups through the six steps. First, uh, they, uh, if, they find, if, if they find there is a market need, need a standard, the, some people pro propose standards to relative uh, technical communities and uh, uh, experts pre prepare draft and uh, they share uh, draft uh, during the members and uh, uh, then share the draft with all ESO members uh, for comments and uh, final draft send all ESO members and the, uh, the ESO member as of standards uh, is published. For the uh, storage networking industry association, it is uh, established in December 1997. And uh, the 
there this is the architecture of the of SNA. We can see that uh, there are many there are many uh, there are four uh, technical technical communities include uh, including cloud computing, uh, green compu green storage, and uh, and uh, storage management. And uh, for the technic uh, technical uh, work group, they it has ten work groups uh, focused on cloud computing, green uh, green uh, storage, and IoT, and many uh, many new technologies. And uh, uh, for the domestic standards, uh, uh, you can search or find all the standard uh, dominates uh, uh, domestic standards uh, in this website and uh, there are uh, for the storage system there are uh, 31 published uh, uh, standards uh, including uh, management including storage management big data management cloud management and uh, there are also some application uh, applications such as how to define storage uh, data format in uh, computer graphics uh, traffic uh, information and uh, there are also uh, test uh, standards uh, for test uh, big data and test uh, smart uh, storage system there are, uh, there are also uh, several uh, function or interface standards defined the function of cloud computing, IPSAN, and uh, backup system. And uh, for our group, we focused on SC25. We defined the, define the uh, standards of uh, information storage system. So what the storage system standard defines? I think uh, they, can divide it, they can be divided into four classes. First function such as SCSI, POSIX, NFS, Amazon S3. This defines how we can get uh, data from the storage system. And uh, interaction um, defines how the data uh, uh, transfer or uh, transfer or query through different components or different uh, different uh, system. And uh, for uh, for the uh, uh, products from different vendors, uh, we need a management uh, uh, standard to uh, to manage uh, products from different vendors. And uh, 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 if we want to <coughs> check which product is better, we need the evolution uh, standard. Uh, this graph, this figure shows the uh, interface or the storage function uh, uh, by different uh, interfaces. First is block storage, uh, such as disk SSD, and the standards include SCSI, SPTK, SCSI. <coughs> by, this, uh, by this interface, the system can uh, uh, store, can access the storage space like a, uh, like a linear uh, storage space. And uh, next is the fair operations, uh, operations uh, for local fair system and network uh, fair system. The standards including uh, uh, POSIX and NFS, also we have CFS. And uh, for object uh, op uh, operations such as Amazon S3, this is not a uh, international standard. It's a uh, uh, it's a standard from Amazon, but uh, uh, it was uh, widely adapted uh, by other cloud computing vendors. The first uh, uh, set of uh, standard is SCSI. This is this is not own, This is not one standard. It's a set of standard. The, uh, uh, <coughs> The group named the T10 uh, response for the SCSI uh, uh, storage system. For each block in this figure, this, this figure is a set of standards. 
for the <coughs> for the uh, uh, level part uh, upper part uh, it's uh, scarcity command set uh, standards including block access object object uh, access uh, commands and uh, uh, middle part is the scarcity architecture standards it tells how to uh, communicate uh, uh, the architect it defines the architecture of the uh, system and uh, define how how to uh, send and uh, uh, send and uh, get the results of commands between that and uh, the lower part is uh, different uh, scarcity interconnection such as scarcity uh, such as SATA uh, SKC, USB, and the fiber channel. And uh, this uh, group is uh, uh, part of uh, ANSI and uh, INCITS. The, this set is very uh, big. It's a, it's a standard family. And uh, next is SPDK. Uh, SPDK uh, is a storage performance developed case. It provides a set of tools and libraries for writing high performance, scalable uh, user model storage applications. It was, uh, <coughs> it was, uh, 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 pro, uh, it, uh, uh, Inter provides the initial uh, vision, and the latest vision is uh, uh, 22.01. And, uh, uh, it was published uh, uh, general this year. Next uh, uh, is uh, POSIX. POSIX uh, is a portable operating system interface. It uh, defines uh, system interface uh, so that the library and uh, uh, application can run on different uh, kinds of uh, uh, Unix-like uh, uh, system, and uh, <clears throat> in this uh, uh, in this uh, standard, uh, it defined uh, uh, file access permission, file hierarchy, file names, and uh, portable portability, and other diff uh, kind of uh, other data structure of file system. And the last latest version is uh, four six one two thousand and eight eighteen. And uh, this is also very big, uh, uh, big uh, standard. Uh, NFS is uh, a, proto a protocol to share directories uh, to nodes through the network. And uh, this figure shows how the NFS work. <coughs> For Unix, it uses mount command to uh, mount uh, command to mount the uh, uh, NFS service to the to one point uh, one point and uh, uh, it looks like uh, uh, move this tree to uh, as a sub tree of of the uh, NFS client. Uh, the IETF uh, uh, organization uh, defines this uh, uh, this uh, standard. The, NFS uh, from it's a, it's a very old uh, uh, standard, but uh, for the NFS from from NFS three and uh, four and point two, it support uh, uh, parallel parallel access or par uh, uh, it can de deploy on uh, uh, distributed uh, uh, environments. Uh, for cloud storage system, it. Uh, uh, manages the data as object, and it provides a set of REST API to create, update, uh, upload, delete objects or uh, buckets. Uh, for the traditional uh, uh, storage system, there is, a, uh, there is a tree to manage the path or file name uh, of the data, but for object, uh, <coughs> object storage system. It's a fleet. It's a fleet. Uh, it's a fleet method, and from the object ID, it can get the object. The RESTful API uh, 
means send the request and get results through HTTP uh, protocol. Uh, next is the management of this array. Uh, we recently we uh, migrated the in, uh, international standards to dominate standard, and uh, this is used to monitor and manage storage devices from different vendors. The uh, it defines uh, it define, uh, some common uh, common profiles and uh, uh, query query the uh, trans transfer the uh, vendor uh, native uh, defined to a common or uh, common or uh, profiles can understand by other uh, vendors of the software. Uh, next uh, management uh, uh, standard is CDMI, Cloud Man Data Management Interface. It was released as a uh, uh, industry uh, standard in uh, 2011, but uh, and uh, uh, in 2016 it uh, became to a uh, uh, ISO standard. And uh, all storage sto resources can be managed uh, CDM, uh, using C CDMA, uh, including tradition traditional file system (LUN). NAS, SAN, and uh, object uh, storage uh, services. And uh, the latest version is uh, 2.0, and uh, it uh, was published on Sept uh, September 11, 2020. <coughs> uh, for the evolution, I will briefly introduce uh, uh, performance and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, energy uh, efficient uh, uh, Standards. <coughs> the SPC and SPEC uh, previous uh, uh, previous talk uh, <coughs> speakers also introduced some of this. And uh, uh, for the SPC, there are uh, SPC one and SPC two. The difference between SPC one and SPC two as uh, uh, workloads are different. For SPC1, it's uh, a bunch of uh, business critical applications, including OLTP database mail server. But for S uh, SPC2, uh, the, the, there are three workloads, large file processing, and large database query, and uh, video on VOD. And uh, for SPC, Slash E means uh, uh, it uh, test the uh, my, uh, it test the energy usage of the system. For the SPC one C or SPC two C, it means the uh, benchmark was used uh, uh, was used to test uh, the performance of uh, different components such as. Uh, disk or uh, file system. And uh, SPEC storage solution 2020, uh, this benchmark is used to measure the uh, performance of storage solution. And uh, this, uh, the original version of this is called SPEC SFS 2008. And uh, this, uh, was uh, designed to test uh, the uh, performance of NFS or Samba, uh, SMB. And uh, current, uh, it uh, support uh, different kinds of uh, uh, file system, including object-oriented file system and other <coughs> distributed file systems. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, this is another uh, benchmark developed by SPC. Uh, it's the first uh, industry standard of SPC benchmark to measure the performance and the energy consumption. Uh, in this feature, the uh, there is a control uh, there is a controller. 
it generate different kinds of different uh, 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 workloads on the system under test and measure uh, the performance of uh, the 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 uh, energy used by SUT and different uh, workloads. Sina also developed a uh, power efficient uh, standards. The uh, this is the this is uh, uh, this test uh, different uh, uh, the energy consumption of uh, workload uh, uh, of storage system and uh, uh, it uh, uh, the measures is very similar with the previous standard and uh, it generate uh, different kinds of uh, workloads. In this case, it. Uh, uh, the, uh, it uh, refers to the LPS, to the uh, storage system. Uh, there are there are some other uh, performance benchmark. The uh, uh, the system under test, including uh, big data system and uh, general storage system, uh, including uh, uh, block uh, block interface and file interface. And uh, for Sina, it, they developed many kinds of uh, standards. Uh, many of this, uh, so, uh, many of, of these standards, uh, first, uh, uh, it's uh, industry, industry standards, but uh, because the infer inference of the uh, organization is very uh, huge. So, Mo uh, many of the standards change to international standards. In in this talk, we only talk about uh, uh, CDMI and uh, uh, power efficient management specification and uh, SMI uh, slash S. And uh, we can see it also developed many other management uh, standards and it also de developed Many standards, uh, uh, standards of storage media and uh, file system. Okay, that's all. Thanks for uh, listening. Okay, thank you. It's wonderful speak. Can I have a question about this? Okay. Okay. The next speaker is Zhou Hai from Huazhong University of Science and Technology. The topic of the speech is an introduction to common profile in storage management standards. Good afternoon. I'm Zhou Hai from Huazhong University of Science and Technology. And the title I report is an introduction to common applied in story management standards. A applied is a specification that defines the CMI models and associated behavior for an automatic and self-contained management domain. The CMI model includes the CMI class associations, indications, maps, and the properties. The management domain is a set of the relative management tasks. A profile is a uniquity identified by the name, organization, and the version. A profile may add restriction to usage and the behavior, but cannot change the CMI-defined characteristic. In SMI, Profile service several purpose specification, organization, certification, discovery. The generalist target park provides more than the generalist behavior of the target parts in storage systems such as these arrays and the type libraries. This abstract profile specification shall not be directly implemented. Implementation shall be based on a profile specification that specifies the requirement of this profile. The primary class of the junior target parts 
provide a logical ply and the protocol endpoint, a surely features instant of the subclass of the logical pole, for example, FC pole or internet pole, represents the logical aspect of the pole, independent from the common protocols such as SSC. Instant of the subclass of the protocol endpoint represent commerce protocols in use on the port. The FCOE target port profile is a common profile that models the behavior of the fiber channels over internet functionally. The fixture show the topology of the FCOE where the fiber channel protocols is carried over the internet. The FT port is always associated one by one with a SCSI protocol endpoint instance. The internet port is associated to zero or more FC ports. The SB target port profile provides a way for storage profile to modern target port that are dedicated to serving SB hosting attachment. This is an important distinction for maximum, seeing fiber connected connection for SB will be typically be spread for fiber connected. Similarly, maximum function for masking and mapping are somewhat different from SB than SSI. So it is important for management application to be aware of the distinction. The SP target port profile specifies the junior target port profile. The fixture illustrates the SP target port profile. SP port are fiber channel port holding the value 28. The supposed property shall contain the value 28. The active property shall contain the value 28 for FC port that are actually supporting SP protocols. Other port profile have a single physical port associated with each SCSI initiators. RSCSI allows multiple connections in a section that as a SCSI initiator. This profile include a subset of the class that models the SCSI initiator and is in relationship to logical class that modern physical elements. This picture depicts a configuration with an interactor with two internet ports that are part of a single section that has an SCSI initiators. The internet port are modern as an instance of the internet port, IP protocol endpoint and TCP protocol endpoint with one by one typically. These ports are in an uh, initiator size. The target port are not required in this profile. The SP initiator port provides modern initiator port that are supposed the FC SPX protocol. This picture is an example of the single initiator port. The instant diagrammers show a disk logical diagram in the diagram would be subclass as something like star instant in array, connected by a fiber channel prop. SP protocol connectors controller is not general use in initiator context. It is included here to be compacted with SMI client. The FCOE initiator port provides modern the behavior of the fiber channels over internet functioning of the common network adapter. A CNA may support functioning beyond FCOE, including junior TCPIP support. Functioning of the CNAs other than FCOE is outside the scope of this supply. This picture shows the modern for class in the FCOE initiator port for fly. Each FCOE port shall be modern with a single instance each of the FC port, internet port and SCSI portal endpoint. FC port and internet port shall be associated with host dependence. FC port and internet port shall each be associated to the computer system in the base survey profile with the system type divide. 
in some perfect some or all of the messages described may take some time to execute. So the perfect is quite a special use of the construct and the property in both. The actually CMI capabilities may be more, but this specification clearly states what client may depend on the job control provide. The multiply computer system provides more than multiply system have cooperated to present a virtual computer system with addition capital refunction. The general pattern for the redundant aspect of the multiply system use an instance of the redundant step to aggress the multiple real computer system instance. Another computer system instance is associated to the redundant set instead, and is associated to the real computer system using component CS. By formulating maximum technical specification for distributed heterogeneous system devices, it can be used to build a large-scale and scalable storage system to meet the current growing demand for information storage and efficiently support for the development of the domestic storage instant industrial. To this end, this stand defines an open and extensible interface so that the subsystem and the diverse in the global scope of the large storage system can be performed by overlapping display framework and management system in a rapidly developing multi-vendor market environment and a safe management. Thank you. Uh, any question about this? Okay, um, the next speaker. The next speaker is Xu Guanglei from Huadong University of Science and Technology. The topic of this speech is an introduction to block device in story management stems. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Guangli Xu from Huazhong University of Science Technology. It's a great honor to be here amongst you. Today, my topic is an introduction to block devices in storage management standards. And so this technical specification defines a WAN-oriented interface for uh, the secure, extensible, and interoperable management for, of a uh, distributed and heterogeneous storage system. This interface used an uh, uh, object-oriented XML-based, machine-based protocol design to support the specific requirements of managing devices and subsystems in this storage environment. Using this protocol, this technical specification describes the information available to a web EM client from an SMIS compliant web EM uh, server. This application applies to the uh, design, development, and uh, application of block devices in heterogeneous distributed storage systems. And so, uh, this standards includes 28 chapters and two annex, uh, like an array profile and uh, masking and mapping profile, and so on. So let's talk about array profile at first. The array profile describes RAID array system. The array system supported by this profile are standalone and use local disk to store the data. Systems that use external storage or a combination uh, of local and external storage are storage virtualizers. Uh, the model consists of multiple component profiles and packages. The main component profiles are uh, a CIM computer system object that represents the uh, array as a whole. Block service packages, the main part of the model. 
target parts component profile model reports. The figure left is a simplified instance diagram of a node array. So uh, many devices and applications provide their storage capacity to external devices and applications uh, through block-based I.O. This component profile defines a standard uh, expression of existing storage capacity. The assignment of a capacity to store the pools and allocation of capacity to be used by external devices or applications. Each block of capacity within a storage device or application has a state. Like the figure left illustrate the state transition of a block of storage. A disk drive is modeled as a single media access device. The disk drive class should be linked to a single storage extent. Uh, which representing the storage of the drive by a media present association. The disk drive light profile is used to model disk drive devices. This profile assumes the drive is linked to a larger system uh, like array or SCE. The model supports a set information, health and data and physical information. So this drive light also has an optional set of classes to model the parts on the drive. These classes include local part and protocol endpoint. Local part is subclass to uh, many different part types. Uh, like in the figure lab, it illustrates the CIM element for modeling of these drives. Uh, for erasure profile. The erasure profile describes how data on a storage element, uh, like a, a storage volume, large disk, or a, a primordial uh, storage instance may be erased. Uh, a state is replicated, migrated, and archived throughput its life cycle. Uh, there is a need to ensure that residential and super uh, supersede copies or uh, versions of the data that remain on storage media are uh, destroyed in line with business policies for uh, like privacy, confidentiality, and security. Uh, for masking and mapping profile, many disk array provide an interface for the administrator to specify uh, which initiator can access one volume through which target pods. The fact is that the given volume is only visible to SCSI uh, command that originates from the uh, specific initiator through specific sets of target pods. There may, there may uh, also be a capability to select the SDSI logical unit number uh, seen by an initiator through a, a specific set of paths. Uh, storage virtualizers act like RAID arrays, but can use storage provided by systems external to the storage virtualizer and local disks. A local virtualization system combines both remote and local storage to uh, create a, a seamless pool. The virtualization system allocates volumes from the pool for host systems to use. The basic virtualized system profile uh, provides a read-only view of the system. The various profiles indicate in the left figure. Um, it also describes the physical layout of the system and includes product identification information. So for volume composition profile, some arrays and storage virtualizers as well as volume managers have the ability to combine together existing uh, storage volumes to make them appear to be one bigger volume. These are called composite volumes in this version of the specification. The volume composition 
profile describe how instrumentation will combine exposable uh, storage elements into another exposable storage element. Uh, the replication service uh, is a component file. It specifies attributes and methods to copy data from a source element to a target element. The copy operations may be performed on elements from the same storage system or across a WAN connection to a different storage system. Storage relocation can be used to relocate storage like storage volume, storage pool, or store local or logical disk within a, a same storage machine or across different storage machines with different extent allocation methods. Storage relocation can be used as a solution on data migration and can also be used as part of the solution on HubSpot uh, tuning. The automated storage tiering profile, uh, component profile includes uh, classes and methods to expose the storage tiering feature of the storage array. The storage tiers may be cre created by uh, the storage array based on performance uh, characteristics of the underlying hardware and the quality of service associated with the hardware. Uh, the storage pool diagnostic profile extends the management capability of the block service profile by adding diagnostic methods for determining uh, that the storage pool is operating normally and for troubleshooting storage pool problems involving the storage pool in the manager system. This profile describes the CIM schema's extensions that compose the diagnostic support for storage pools as defined in the uh, block service profile. The primary function of this profile is to provide a comprehensive set of functions for managing the health and fault diagnostic for storage pools. And so that's all of this uh, standard. Thank you for listening. Okay, thank you for the wonderful speech. Have any question about this? Okay, let me ask you a question. I noticed that this profile is based on IS ISO IEC storage management stands. So what's the difference between them? Uh, yeah, for sure. It's a good question. We have some extensions on the original standard and the main difference is that we have extended the standard to support the management of storage devices across bands, uh, the wide area network. The reason behind this is that cross city and even cross-country data center are now common. So supporting WAN communication is quite essential. So uh, we have added the related contents in about 10 chapters. And in addition, there are some revisions to make it suitable for uh, Chinese IT vendors. Okay, thank you for your answer. The last speaker is Zhang Haijun from Inspire. The topic of the speech is exploration and the practical of container storage interface stands. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Zhang Haijun from Innsbruck. Uh, the topic to share with you today is the exploration and practice of container storage interface standard, uh, which is standardized interface led by Cloud Native Computing Foundation. 
and designed to be developed for protein orchestration platform. CSI uh, is also a kind of storage manager standard. So let's first understand the current situation of storage system management standards. Okay. Uh, from 20 years development, storage management standards are towards to uh, a more and more flexible and easy to use direction. The comparison of the storage management standards uh, ranged from the machine, machine to machine interface to man to machine interface. Uh, the storage management standard is roughly divided into three levels. And the first level is the chase management interface, which is mainly used for the monitoring and management of hardware equipment. Uh, the mainstream standard is IP, I, IPMI, SES, and AVMEMI. Uh, the second level is the host application interface, uh, such as cloud applications, container applications. Uh, the mainstream standards are OpenStack, uh, container storage interface, and firmware VI. Uh, the third level is the storage resource management standard, which is mainly used to connect with the third party management software and provide the unified management of the center. The mainstream standards are SMP, SMIS, and Swordfish. Um, because of limitation and defects, some standards are no longer updated, such as IPMI, SMP. Uh, the protocols that are still active in recent years, including uh, SMRS, uh, Swordfish, uh, Container uh, Storage Interface. Uh, for example, SMRS released version 1.8 in 2020. Uh, CSI released uh, version 1.5 in 2021. Main interface of storage resource management and host application management are as follow. Uh, each storage manufacturer has basically realized most of or uh, all of them. Inspo storage has completed 100% of the required interface and more than 18 percent of the optional interface according to the customer needs. Uh, before the container storage interface, uh, each orchestration solution has its own plugin for different storage volumes. Uh, this results in a number of disadvantages, uh, including uh, storage providers relied on the core code implementation and the release policy of the specific orchestration solution. Implementation of new volume plugin required significant effort. Errors could affect various com components of uh, orchestration solution. So the container storage interface uh, uh, is, is intended to address the challenge of fragment container storage technology, uh, which is uh, supported by the Cloud Native Computing uh, Foundation. Uh, it uses different storage technology and methods, see, as they allow the third party storage providers to build and deploy storage plugin without having to rely on the core code of uh, orchestration solution. CSI is divided into a number of 
uh, architectural design that determine how plugins are developed. The architecture uh, match typical uh, a container, a container orchestration uh, implementations that have master and node host. Uh, they are uh, first uh, the master node uh, with the separate plugin for both controller and uh, node plugin. Uh, headless, headless where the plugin still run separately for controller and node, but only run on the node host. Headless combine um, where a single plugin providers uh, provides uh, the controller and the node compatibility uh, together. Uh, there are several benefits uh, to use CSI for handling container orchestration solution. Uh, they include uh, they, they include reduction effort involved in implement new volume plugin. Uh, no dependence on the orchestration solutions code base or uh, its release policy. Uh, Orchestration solution developers only have to test the implementation of the interface, uh, not of each storage plugin. Uh, the core of the solution is decoupled from the storage volume, volume uh, making the system more stable and secure of draw. Uh, following the mainstream implementation method, we adopt the following must node separate design. Uh, in both C as I include the gRPC interface service, uh, central controller, and host management and storage management. Uh, gRPC interface service uh, realize uh, a gRPC interface service. Uh, including listening to call request, uh, pass parameter contact, uh, scheduling control module interface, and organizing and uh, replying information. Central controller realized the function required by the CSI, uh, connect uh, with the GRPC interface service and uh, coordinate uh, to host the uh, management and storage management. A host man management realizes the interactive option with the host and the storage management uh, realizes the interactive option with the storage, which uh, including distributed storage and uh, centralized storage. At the same time, we have done some uh, design um, uh, first uh, is a single plugin support centralized and distributed storage. And the uh, uh, second is single plugin support block file storage service. Um, I include three services. Uh, they are identity uh, service and controller service or uh, node service. Uh, controller service create and uh, manage volumes and uh, deploy on the master node. Uh, node service mount and amount volume and deploy on the work node. Uh, there are five uh, sidecar images uh, deployed on the master node. Uh, they include uh, external attacher, uh, provisioner, resizer, uh, external snapshooter and uh, external sh uh, snapshot controller. Uh, another another sidecar uh, node driver register register and uh, deployed deployed on the work node. Okay, uh, let's look at a customer case. Uh, the customer's uh, main demand is uh, two data type, uh, structures data and unstructured data, uh, two platform, uh, uh, 
a Kubernetes platform, a two container storage service block and file. A port size for Kubernetes um, our solution is a sing our solution is a single plugin support distributed storage and centralized storage, as well as object block and file service. Uh, through our solution, uh, the custom uh, value is uh, reduces the difficulty of custom deployment operation and maintenance. Uh, improve resource uh, of the uh, storage device and save customers cost. Uh, let's look at uh, another custom case. The customer's main demand is that uh, a storage uh, system is to support uh, several uh, service, uh, block, file, and object. Uh, the response time of Kubernetes platform uh, calling CSI interface is less than three seconds. Our solution is first, uh, Inspore distribute storage realizes the integration of block file and object service in a single cluster. Uh, the CSS gamma uh, realized through the MBD, uh, not as Gazi, uh, meet the requirement that the response of the interface required by the customer is less than uh, three seconds. Uh, through our uh, solution, uh, the customer improves the efficiency of the value mounting and uploading to meet the performance requirement of the customer business. Uh, intelligent and automatic operation and uh, maintenance is one of the trade of the container. An uh, intelligent container will uh, put forward higher intelligent requirement for storage system. Uh, therefore, we are proposing a uh, intelligent storage managed standard. Uh, this standard defines the uh, uh, capability framework and the tech technical requirements for intelligent operation and the maintenance of storage system, uh, including capability, uh, performance, health, uh, life cycle, uh, cycle, uh, data protection, uh, and and data enter operability of operation and maintenance systems. Uh, so we think the CS I will focus on in the future is access interface uh, extend from block and file to object the native bucket provision um, object management policy and uh, primitive Instead of file level by amount, amount of POSIX calls, security, including uh, interface security, identity authentication, end to end container security, uh, inbound communication, uh, date protection, uh, support for more flexible date protection policies. Um, automatic operation and maintenance, including end-to-end -end automatic resource management, storing and monitoring, uh, intelligent operation and maintenance. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you for your wonderful debate. Any question about this? Okay, we sent the speaker for their hard work and the great code names for this conference. So the joint efforts of the all the common present, we have successfully completed the very agent and achieved the expert goal. We're looking to see you again next year. Thank you everyone.
这各位的参与啊，这是这个第一次那个 ICT 在这个国内举办的大会，也非常感谢各位能参与这个首次啊，就是咱们中国人自己办的这个 workshop。希望大家也踊跃参与之后的这个 SCP 活动啊！谢谢各位，啊，非常感谢。OK，Thank、okay, you。